Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Gospel Beast. This is a upgrade to my previous tutorial on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Exam Personal Study Guide. Um, I decided to do an upgrade because I had a few errors that uh, people let me know in the comments, a few mistakes I made. Uh, so I corrected those and I also listened to the comments and the feedback and um, what people when they took the exam they saw questions that may not have been in the first tutorial so I went ahead and added them to the upgraded one so it could be more thorough so again um, this is my disclaimer I wouldn't use this as your only study guide I can't guarantee the information is 100 percent correct um, you know so I did get you know 90 percent of this information from the AWS website so with all that being said um, let's get ready to begin and also if you pass the exam or you take the exam please leave it in the comments below so we can know um, if you know it's a question that you may have seen on exam that's not in the in the tutorial you know put it in the comments or you know if you pass put it in the comments you know what grade you got or what was your score if you didn't pass you know put that in the comments as well and let us know um, you know what what questions was on the exam and so forth okay so let's let's get let's get going alright so the responsibility model the customer is responsible for customer data security in the cloud platform applications identity and access management OS network firewall client side data encryption authentication server side encryption files data network traffic protection all right and AWS is responsible for physical hardware storage AWS databases configuring managed services edge locations regions availability zones global infrastructure national disasters compute and networking all right monitoring cloud watch collect metrics and logs from all sources cloud and local monitor with dashboards to troubleshoot and set alarms act automate response to events with auto scaling analyze real-time one-second metrics data retention improve total cost of ownership and optimize applications cloud trail government compliance risk auditing log monitor retain record events across AWS find out who made API calls SDKs in the command line CloudWatch can use this information to take action cost total cost of ownership TCO calculator your company cost versus AWS savings reduce large capital investment pay as you go model detailed report no upfront cost cost explorer easy to use interface Visualize, understand, manage costs and usage over time. Dive deeper in cost usage data. Identify trends. Pinpoint cost drivers. Detect anomalies. Future forecasting. Trusted advisor. Customize cloud expert. Real-time software. Inspect AWS for money savings, performance, reliability, security, part of the admin console consolidated billing the master account is called a pair account and the member account is called a linked account security DDOS prevention WAF web application firewall AWS shield CloudFront load balancer NACL subnet and VPC to protect against incoming traffic requests. Security groups acts as firewalls that control traffic allowed to reach one or more instances. Up to five security groups only use SSH 
into EC2 instances that are attached to security group. Penetration testing. Get permissions from AWS first. It can be done on your infrastructure only. Amazon Inspector. Automate, automated security assessment service that improves security and compliance of applications deployed automatically assesses applications for exposure, vulnerabilities, and deviations from, back, from best practices. Identity Access Management IM roles determine what the identity can and cannot do in AWS temporarily. Secure communications between EC2 instance and S3. IM Identity Access Management Manage users and their level of access to AWS console is universal root account complete admin access by default users have no permissions initially. Pen testing Before performing security testing on AWS resources you must obtain approval from AWS after you submit your request AWS will reply in about two business days. AWS might have additional questions about your test which can extend the approval process so plan to so plan accordingly and be sure that your initial request is as detailed as possible. If your request is approved you will receive an authorization number. To request request permission for vulnerability and, penet and penetration testing sign in to your AWS account using root credentials and then fill out the vulnerability penetration testing request form. Submit your request at least seven business days before your plan test. The more detailed your request the more likely it will be quickly approved. If you don't provide enough details detail AWS might deny your request and your questions can be answered at pen tests at aws.com okay so this was added and I put in a lot of details for pen testing because from based on my comments on the last video there were like five questions on pen testing however with the actual exam the questions do vary uh, they, they kind of random um, I think they pick from a pool of different questions so the test is not the same for everybody you know the test is kind of random but this I would you know I would say basically 80 percent of what's in this tutorial is going to be on the exam alright so VPN this is another I believe added uh, VPN versus direct connect AWS managed VPN AWS Managed VPN is a hardware IPsec VPN that enables you to create an encrypted connection over the public internet between your Amazon VPC and your private IT infrastructure. The VPN connection lets you extend your existing security and management policies to your VPC as if they were running within your own infrastructure. VPN connectivity utilizes the public internet which can be unpredictable performance and despite being encrypted can present security concerns. AWS Direct Connect is a network service that provides an alternative to using the internet to connect customers on premise sites to AWS data that would have previously been transported over the internet can now be delivered through a private network connection between AWS and your data center or corporate network. So those are the difference between VPN and Direct Connect. So that's definitely um, something you should know for the exam. A good thing to know. Databases. Relational databases. Relation, relational database service RDS. That's MySQL. Postgres SQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Multi Availability Zone, Re Replica, DynamoDB, No SQL, 
non-relational database, serverless and fully managed, Amazon Redshift, Data Warehouse, Aurora, MySQL, and Postgres SQL compati compatible relational database built for the cloud managed by Amazon. Host self-managed database in AWS, complete control over the database engine and infrastructures. Storage S3, transfer acceleration enables fast, easy, and secure transfers of files over long distances between your client and an S3 bucket. Transfer accelerations, acceleration takes advantage of Amazon's CloudFront's globally distributed edge locations. S3 cost depends on the gigabyte size of storage. Five terabytes in maximum buckets is a hundred. Import data into AWS. Glacier API, Glacier SD, SDK, S3 lifecycle policies, snowball, petabytes of data mailed to AWS. Glacier infrequency in access data archives. Instance types. Reserve instances. Discount up to 75% compared to on-demand instance pricing assigned to a specific availability zone with capacity reservation available when you need them for applications that have steady state or predictable usage spot instances can be interrupted fault tolerance fault tolerant flexible applications big data data analysis batch jobs 90 percent compared to on-demand medical scientific bids bids if it's if it's below your bid dedicated hosts physical ec2 server dedicated for your use can help reduce costs by allow, allowing to use existing server bound software licenses including windows server sql server and susE linux enterprise server subject to license terms on demand you pay for commute capacity by by per hour or per second no long term commitments or upfront payments applications with short term spiky or unpredictable workloads cannot be interrupted disaster recovery backup and restore highest downtime pilot light dr scenario in which a minimal version of an environment is always running in a cloud warm standby multi az least downtime and availability zone az isolated location within aws region put in multiple regions rrs reliability 99.99 percent rrs durability 99.99 percent s3 durability 99 percent dot one two three four five six seven eight nine um where's well, a bunch of nines um just remember s s3 durability is going to be the most nine it's going to be a bunch of knives after the decimal point s3 availability is going to be 99.99 so it's either going to be 99.99 or 99 point a bunch of nines so that's all you need to remember key points elasticity allow application to scale up and down Diverting traffic to instances based on the demand and lease load. Elastic Beanstalk. Easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services developed with Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go, and Docker on familiar serv servers such as Apache, NX, Passenger, and IIS. Upload code and Elastic Beanstalk automatically 
handles the deployment from capacity provisioning, load balancing, auto scaling to application health monitoring. Retain full control over the AWS resource. Sis. Cloud formation. Model entire infrastructure in text file. Template. Single source of truth for infrastructure. Standardized code. Amazon Direct Connect. Easy to set up and dedicate network connection from your premises to AWS. Can reduce network costs, increase bandwidth, provide consist consistent network experience than internet connections, VPN connection. SQS, fully managed message queuing service that enables you to decouple and scale microservices distributed systems and serverless applications. You can send, store, and receive messages between software components at any volume without losing messages or requiring other services to be available. AWS Config, service that, service that enables you to access, audit, and e evaluate the configurations of your AWS resources. Config continuously monitors and records your AWS resource configurations and allow you to automate the evaluation of recorded configurations against desired configurations. M E M R managed Hadoop framework that makes it easy, fast, and cost effective to process vast amounts of data across dynamically scalable AWS, I'm sorry, Amazon EC2 instances. You can also run other popular distributed frameworks such as Apache, Spark, H HBase, Presto, and Flink. VPC, carve out portion of AWS cloud virtual private network AMI Amazon machine image provides information requ required to launch instance you must specify a source AMI when you launch an instance you can launch multiple instances from a single AMI a template for the root volume for the instance for example an operating system and application server and applications. You can create from EBS back instances and snapshots. Take snapshot, snapshot, take snapshot of volume, then put in another availability zone in order to move one volume to a, another availability zone. Copy snapshot to other region, create image of that snapshot, then boot as new EC2 instance for backups instance image image creates new AMI AMIs is where image is saved Amazon elastic cache offers fully managed Redis and mcache real-time apps gaming right hailing media streaming dating social media store as database cache Message Broker Q Real-Time Transactions CloudFront Fast, con con fast Content Delivery Network CDN Service that securely delivers data, videos, applications, and APIs to customers globally with low latency, high transfer speeds, all within a developer-friendly environment using edge locations. AWS Marketplace a sales channel, easy sellers to offer software solutions that run on AWS Cloud. Accessible use policy, describe prohibited actions, policy document that provides a formal statement of one or more permissions, provides formal statement of permissions, resource actions, effect, principles, JSON, what user can do. Service control policies, SP, SCPs, manage your organization and restrict at the account level of granularity, I'm sorry, I forgot how you pronounce that word, what services and actions the users, groups and roles in 
those accounts can do and it should be close to the end so I think it's like two more slides all right support support plans basic developer business enterprise support concierge concierge AWS management console web-based user interface PCI compliant the payment card industry data security standard PCI DSS AWS offers these services you can upload archives to Glacier by using the management console to upload data such as photos, videos, and other documents. You must be either you must either use the AWS CLI or write code to make requests by using either the REST API directly or by using the AWS SDKs. All right, this pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I forgot to mention that. I actually took the exam and passed the exam I actually failed the exam the first time around so based on the first exam I took and the second exam which was slightly different this these PowerPoints are pretty much what I remember that's on the exam so this is pretty much 90 percent of what I saw on the exam these topics so your your exam may be slightly different because you may have different questions but if you use this as kind of like a, a refresher you know definitely study the materials somewhere else and use this as a like a cheat sheet to kind of keep the information fresh and you should be good to go again let you know, write in the comments below if you have any questions or if you you saw someone on the exam and that wasn't in this um, tutorial or wasn't in the slide or if you pass or if you fail you know put your score you know let me know and good luck I hope this helps